Okay, so um, you have to get a Squarespace account um, and it's going to cost you money. But um, like I say, um, once you get used to it, um, this is something that you should um, start your portfolio with and uh, continue it. And the good thing is uh, I've got us a discount. So I've signed Kwantlen Polytechnic University up. So when you go to Squarespace, um, you're basically uh, going under student. So squarespace.com um, slash students and you type in Kwantlen and uh, it will come up here and that will give you a 50% 50, 50 discount. Um, it's a yearly subscription, although you can do it monthly. So if you decide, hey, no way, John, I'm not spending that much money, um, then you know, do it for three months. Um, but you do have to publish these websites. So um, the interesting and good thing, uh, not the interesting, just the good thing about Squarespace is uh, it's relatively easy um, to use and it's very quick to use and that's part of the reason uh, we're going to use it so that we are not learning a complete new software program and uh, when I took over this course it was actually all on paper and uh, when you do things all on paper it doesn't necessarily um, have the same effect of, as understanding how websites actually function um, when you program them. So when you come onto Squarespace, um, you're basically going to go get started and it will show you um, a ton of different templates to start. So all I typically do if I'm doing a website uh, with uh, that Squarespace for us, I, I typically will use them for smaller clients, but I have a couple big clients that um, uh, I use them with um, or I have websites for. Uh, I will typically find um, I will kind of research and look at all their different templates. And the nice thing is every single one of them is you, by the time you're done with it, you can completely change it to look like a different one. So it really is just a starting point, but I do like to start um, somewhere. Like if I know it's going to be a big image, I'm typically going to find one that starts with that. Um, so when you, you can preview any of these. So if you see, I'm clicking on it and it will show you how um, the preview would work. So um, in here it shows you how it scrolls. Um, uh, this one, Advance, has a large, um, if you click on it, it has these sort of large um, menus that, that come up. Uh, let's just see if I go back here. Let's click on that. So you can see this huge menu right here, which is interesting. Um, and then as you scroll down, some of the interesting things that you can do, so you see that this, this text slides in, you can completely control how images and text come in. So if you look at that one, uh, I'll just reload it. So as you are, are scrolling, you'll notice that the text slides in on this one, slides into the left. The image goes to the right so not on the big ones but if there was text there you totally could do that so you see um, just a little bit of movement and that type of movement uh, completely gives the viewer a, a little bit more uh, bang for the buck and it, it has a little bit more movement to it it's a little bit more interesting so you can sort of go through and and uh, look at all the different templates and you can also look to see how they've been used right so if you would decide, oh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm, I know I'm gonna want something that's um, more type-based. You know, you can pick one and start with that. Um, but you know, some of the interesting things too is uh, sometimes I like to just kind of go, okay, well, here's, here's, um, uh, here's Baylard. Um, if you preview preview it, um, it will come up like this. But you can also go view demo site up here, and it will show you what that thing looks like uh, on your on your um, browser. So now you can sort of see this one has kind of images, um, big type. Uh, this banner is uh, about three three quarters, so you can see the headline underneath it. All of these things can be changed, like I said. So once you decide you're going to um, choose one. Um, you go start with this design, it will ask you a series of questions. So if I just do that, it's going to go, 
no what do you mean what do you want how did you hear about us or what did you you know what are you going to use this for and, and this is really for uh, so they can um do it uh, put it in for searches and, and titles and stuff like that so um you put your title in continue on um and we'll just skip a couple of these things um so now you can see it's already um it's already so i've said sure i want to do this and this little assistant comes up and it goes start with our intro intro video so the the best thing about squarespace is it's virtually impossible not to find how to do something right so that's um that's gonna uh, enable us not to have um, me have to do every single that are flexible to your brand's needs a new page catalog provides dozens of pre-built starting pages as well this makes it fast and easy to create striking new layouts for your brand with text images galleries and more and if you like starting from scratch you can also start with the blank page or section one new feature in version 7.1 is the portfolio page a stylized landing page which links visitors to sub pages this is a great way to showcase multiple galleries projects, portfolio highlights, and other content all in one place. You can also now add banner images to any page, simply by creating sections with background images or background videos. When it comes time to style your website, Squarespace version 7.1 has some exciting new features. With color palettes and themes, you'll pick from pre-built color palettes to generate a set of themes for your site. The best part about it? If your brand already has an established color palette, you can design your own using our Palette Builder tool or by uploading a photo. To create even more diversity and visual distinctions in your website's design, you can give each section its very own color theme. Edit sections by using the pencil icon to make individual section changes or make global changes in the design panel. Another feature... So, uh, one of the interesting things that he just uh, touched on there was um, you can completely change uh, the backgrounds in every page. So if I go back, I'm just going to open up um, one of the sites that I'm working on right now. Um, one sec. So this is an account dashboard. So on it, um, you can see sites that uh, I've worked on in, in Squarespace. And then if you have more than one, uh, you just click on it. So uh, if I click on, um, this is the one that I showed you earlier. But one of the great things about um, the backgrounds now is if you have a look at this page, uh, I have sort of, uh, background image uh, it's kind of a paper texture and then an illustration of some fish so i have that kind of show up in a couple of places and um that's it's actually really easy to do so if i were to click off of that um every time you make a, a change in squarespace you do it uh, you do it through your pages so you can see all my pages of the website and then it tells you what page you are on and then up at the top you can go edit so now you can sort of see, um, as I scroll over all these different elements, it tells you what they are, right? So I've got a couple spacers, uh, I've got an image, another spacer. All those spacers do is help you um, center things and um, move things around on the page. So they're completely adjustable. So if I said, okay, well, I want to have my look uh, you, i want to have my icons way over to the right side i can drag that spacer now it's pushing everything over that way so um it's a it, spacers are very handy because it allows you to sort of shape the page you want it um so you see there's a text box um now if you decide um if you decide that you want to have a background image in there and that's what that is right back there so you see this palette up here and on it it has a bunch of different um, icons one is to edit um, one is to duplicate the section um, one is to move it up so if you kind of look at this page itself what you're kind of looking at is a, a couple of different um, sections right so if i click on this you can see this blue line all the way around it and then it's going to come down and then it ends here and then i've stacked you'll see a plus sign i've stacked another section underneath it here's another section underneath that uh, a gallery section is stacked under that um, uh, just a text section and then the footer 
so all of those are uh, are basically um, little sections that you can add to it, and that's what that's what this tool um, that these tools here basically allow you to move sections up and down. So they're pretty handy duplicating sections, and then if you're on a section, so I was talking about the background. If we want to change this background, so I showed you examples of websites that had like um, uh, lines that kind of weren't square, they kind of bled across the page. That's how you would do it. So the same way that this section um, has this paper texture and this illustration of the fish, um, all of that is in the background. So that's um, so when you have it when you have the section highlighted, it has a blue background. I'll click on edit section and then if you look at this it allows you to determine how big the section is right so if I go section height large you see how it just opened that up so I have enough illustration in there that that's fine um, but it basically is is um, taking that information and you can determine how big your banner is so this opening banner is quite large because it has a video on it um, this banner is just kind of an introduction with a set of icons so it's shorter and this next one is a little bit longer because it has some photographs on it so uh, if i want to change the background i can do that on any page so if i go edit section again um, you can determine the length width height you can give it colors or if you click on background you will see that there is my photograph or my illustration of the salmon and um, this dot in the middle determines how it's um, cropped on that on that banner so you can completely move that around so I could do a, I could do an illustration in Illustrator uh, turn it into a PNG or do a screenshot of it and then upload it into here and it'll make it into the back it'll make it um, the background the other interesting thing is if I do, uh, I can show you another example of that. And I'm just going to go to, you're going to have to um, bear with me here for one second. Um, so if you want to have a background that's actually moving or as a loop, um, you can absolutely do that too. So um, this is like a, a minute and 30 um second video so you wouldn't want to do that because it's going to really slow down your site because it's going to have to load that in each time however if you decided oh um you know i want to have bees flying around in my background you could do like a six or seven second video upload it to a youtube channel then all you're really doing um here is um copying the link and then if I go back to my Squarespace, um, so here's my background right now, it's an image. I can switch that to a video. So if I click on video, it goes, oh, okay, well, give me a link. And I just paste that in. So it's gonna search it. And then it's there. So um, now if I actually um, let that, if I go okay, that will become the entire background image. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to have to uh, go back and redo all of this. <laughs> so, oh, well, actually I can because I have the image there. So let's, yeah, let's just do that. Um, I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to make a full bleed. Um, then a yeah, full bleed. I'm going to come back to here and then I'm going to go save now it's just going to load it in so there you can sort of see in the background now the that video um, is playing so the nice thing about that is you can do very subtle sort of loops if you want um, so i could do the same thing up here so i could have done this whole top area as a video but I didn't want it to be I didn't want to force people to watch the video so really what I did here is I did a background image of the same picture and then I inserted a video on top of it so it's yeah so it's two different things I'm gonna have to go in and fix that so I'll scroll down 
and then I'm gonna edit the section. I'm gonna go to background. So the other great thing too about um, these pages is that if I click on this blue area, um, you can individually uh, change the background colors. So you see all of these are set up to, to work with your set of colors. So you can change them to white, to dark, to do the dark blue. So, and that can be on any page. It's, uh, it can be individual pages. Um, so um, that's a, a, a nice nice feature. So one of the main functions of Squarespace is that you're, you're really kind of using modules to build these pages. So I sort of showed you that page. So if I were to add uh, a new page, so I would just come over and I'd hit not linked and it would say, okay, what kind of page do you want to start with? So um, I can start with a blank page, all of these things. Uh, if we go to page layouts, um, what it kind of offers up is a general starting point. So if you look through here, there's this general. Uh, so with the general one, um, it will it will give you exactly what you see here. So the, here's a, a banner, a pull quote, a photograph. Uh, here's one with three. Um, here's one with a pull quote sort of or a, a, a subhead and text and then a photograph and so as you go down you'll see that there's all sorts of these right so uh, here's one without any uh, just three blocks of text and then if you if you come come down here and you go appointments well if you wanted to have uh, something where you had to sign up for something um, you would use appointments about section so again, it gives you a, a variety of different types of about, some with cards, uh, some with pull quotes, um, text beside each other, uh, contact pages have forms on them, uh, services have a little bit more text. So you see here, there's one over here that has like six blocks of text. Here's one that has um, uh, sort of um, varying images up and down. Um, so pretty much, uh, and then there's galleries. So these galleries, you can set them up um, however you like. So you can have uh, you can have uh, click-through galleries, um, and then there's here's one that's just set up for team members. So there's all sorts of things like this as you go through there. So if you're doing a restaurant, here's a um, a menu one. So if we were to say, okay, well let's just start with a general one, and uh, um, let's just click on this one to start. So basically what it does uh, is you see it now says general here. So I can change this and say, let's just say this was part of our site. Uh, this could be like about trees. So this is now called about trees. And then um, as you look at it, um, this particular page is set up as kind of one so it starts off with a uh, headline um, kind of a, a, a little blurb a button and a large image and then it moves to a bit of a pull quote uh, image button so once you're here um, you can absolutely change these as much as you like so if I sort of click in if I go edit and I click through this page you, this plus section here will allow you to add anything so this is where you can start um, completely changing these things and even within the page itself you can change it so if I decide I, I don't like you know I don't necessarily like the format um, of this layout itself um, you can go in and and, and um, you can add things to it um, so let's just go um, and change this a little bit. So if I go in here, um, go done, and then I'm going to go up here, edit. So if I, uh, let's see if I remember how to do this, just close that for a sec. Ah, so when you have these when you're selecting the different elements, you'll see the blue lines around it. And I mentioned that to you earlier. So some of them um, 
are set up as entire block blocks and some of them you can literally go in like this and go okay uh, underneath underneath this um, large pull quote I'm going to add an image so you can see that it adds this block here and then it asks you to find uh, an image so you literally just go um, remember where you put the images click on that um, Let's just see if I can find an image off my desktop. So you go choose, and then what it does is it basically fills that area. So you go OK, you go apply. Um, now we've got this image here. And then within this, um, you can decide, OK, well, uh, I'm going to make that smaller. So I'll click on here. And this time, so when you're on there, you'll see that when I highlight just above or in between two blocks, um, this little black thing shows up, this black key. When you click on that, it, it asks you what kind of um, element you want to add. So there's text, there's quotes, there's images, videos, spacers. So get used to using the spacers because those are how you kind of... Um, shape your page. So if I go spacer and put it in here, you'll see that it comes in with a spacer that goes all the way across here. So now it's given me space in between these two elements, but if I were to say click another one and take this spacer, if I grab it and hold it, and you'll see as I'm holding it, so now you'll see a black line above the photo, that that's, that's indicating where the spacer is going to go. But if I shift it over to the left, you see there's now a black line going down the side. That is telling you that if you place it there, it's going to push that photograph over to the right. If I hold it even more, the line goes all the way up the page, and basically that means it's going to space everything over. So if I let that go, you'll see that now this spacer is here, but it basically means that nothing on this, on this block can be in this left area. Then if I sort of delete it, everything will pop back in center again. So if I wanted to make this, um, say I didn't want to make this uh, this introduction so wide, I could go in, grab a spacer, take that spacer and I'll hold it, and you'll see the black line now is highlighting right beside the pull quote. So if I do that, it's only going to push the pull quote over, not the photograph underneath or not the headline. So if I do another one, right underneath it, the same width, I can go over to this side and hold it on this side of the introduction and now it's basically centering that text. Now what you can do is I can click on this spacer and shorten it a bit, click on this spacer, shorten it a bit, and now you can see there's a, it basically gives you a shorter line length. And you can do that with anything. So if I decided I was, uh, let's just replace this, uh, let's just replace this picture with something. Let's find a picture that will actually fill the space. Um, so we'll just grab, so you go s uh, upload an image, and then you find something. Let's see here. Okay, we'll just drop in this illustration. So the it will upload it, resize it to fit that. So when you're creating your assets for your website, you kind of have to know how big they're going to be because uh, you don't want to have small images that um, that are going to get distorted. So once I have it in there, there's a couple other things on uh, the image that you can click on, right? So if I click on design, um, it will say, oh, do you want to have text beside it or underneath it or over top of it? Uh, do you want it on a card, meaning like a, a block? Um, do you want to have this image stretch so it fits the entire thing? Do you want to have a light box so you could click on it and it comes up big? 
um, do you want to have a click through URL so that you click on the image and, and it jumps to another website, something like that. Um, then there's um, over here is if I click on animation, it will say, well, when you scroll down for the first time, uh, do you want any animation? So if I go, yeah, I want it to fade in as you scroll down. You can it'll show you what that looks like, right? Oh, I want it to slide up, just a slight movement. So you can change all of those things. And then if I'm looking at blocks on here, if I add a block and I decide I don't want this picture so big, I can again I can do the exact same thing with my spacer, take it, put it against the black line so it's just against the illustration. And then if I click right under the spacer again, it's gonna give me the exact same shape spacer. So I do the exact same spacer. And this time I'm going to take it over to the other side, bring it over, and now you can sort of see, oh, okay, now there's a much smaller image. So you can completely change um, pages that way. Um, you can add elements to it, uh, and that's how you start customizing uh, the pages themselves. Um, so there's a, lot of, there's a lot of sort of little tricks you can do um, within the site itself to make it really look like any, you know, make it look like uh, a very custom site and um, so uh, the other thing about Squarespace is it's uh, it has amazing support so I'm just gonna um, I just discard these changes so this about trees I can just go over here and click on trash and I'll say do you want to confirm that you want to get rid of this and I go yep so um, there you go so now we're back where we were um, so if I go to Squarespace itself, the great thing is um, there's pretty much when you go into help guides, if there's anything you want to do, um, you can pretty much find it on here. So there's how to videos um, to take you right from about all about images. So uh, it'll cover off all the things that I just talked about, but in a in a more rational and well uh, and more succinct way. Um, introducing commerce, next steps, personal branding essentials, uh, navigation. So um, really, you can pretty much um, you can pretty much find any video on here on how to set it up. Um, adding a background, resizing an image, adding a logo. So that is one of the reasons why we're using it because you really shouldn't get stuck on Squarespace. Um, there's always ways to, to work around. Um, at times it can be a little bit frustrating when you're when you're working on things like uh, spacers and and images and things like that having things line up but for the most part uh, there's not a better kind of a template service that um, has as much um, support as Squarespace and um, uh, it's kind of like if you can kind of imagine it you can pretty much figure out how to do it um, there's obviously some um, uh, some limitations but for the most part especially for what we're doing um, it's it's a pretty good um, template uh, service